All right, guys, real talk. My name is Melissa. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. So, I decided to make this channel because I thought it would be a good time. Um, I thought, you know, it would be a good place to showcase my work and how I develop as an artist. So that's my goal on this thing, is to be real, is to show how I grow, is to try new things, and hopefully you guys can give me ideas on how to do that. So, as we get into it, I had somebody ask me, hey, draw me this pit bull, so I did that. Um, I'm gonna link down below what I used for this pit bull drawing. If anybody has any questions, be sure to let me know. Also, comment down below, tell me where you're at. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and read that little bell ring that little bell so you can see um, when I post my next video. <sighs> Hopefully, you know, I'll get smoother as it goes on. I'm going to stop rambling now. I'll see you guys on the other side. Hey guys, welcome to the voiceover. I hope you guys will enjoy this video. My friend asked me to draw her pit bull for her, so I got to work as usual. But with this drawing, I don't know, it was a little bit more emotionally connected for me. I really do love pit bulls. I think they're beautiful creatures. They're obviously very strong. There's obviously a lot of controversy about them. Are they safe? Are they blah, 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 blah. And I'm gonna go with they're about as safe as people because, or they're probably a lot more safe than people. But we don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. And I know people that want to. I know people that think all pit bulls should just be, um, eradicated off the face of the earth but honestly I don't think anything God created should be eradicated off the face of the earth except for maybe those uh what are those flying daddy long legs mosquito hawks is that what they're called I freaking hate those things they're like spiders with wings anything other than that <laughs> um anyways with this drawing guys I'm um it's it's fairly straightforward charcoal drawing I'm doing a lot of uh, right now I'm working on the general shape and the construction of the of the dog's face, but there's a lot of building up with layers. I'm using General's charcoal, both compressed charcoal and stick charcoal. I also used some vine in the very beginning, vine charcoal, and I'm using a blender that I made, and I made a video about how to make a blender if you don't know how to make a blender. It's a very short, um, very short process, but you know, if you don't know how to make one, there's video for you. So you guys are welcome to go find that. But uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that might seem a little off topic. With everything that's been going on in the news and the FBI investigation and the nominee for the Supreme Court and all this, you know, all the chutzpah going on in the media, it's just kind of gives me a headache. But, um, I know a woman who talked to me about her personal feelings and honestly it was a little backwards and it made me really sad and basically the gist of her position was because she had been through trauma in her youth and she feels responsible for putting herself into let's just say questionable positions that she feels that even if somebody had committed this ridiculously terrible act and taken advantage of a woman like that, that their life shouldn't be destroyed even though they potentially destroyed somebody else's. And it made me very sad because I think a lot of women misplace the responsibility of things like this it's like okay if you're a woman and you've made mistakes like all of us have made mistakes and you put yourself into questionable positions that you know you shouldn't have been in and you knew better than to be there that doesn't mean that all the consequences from that point forward are your fault people still have to be held responsible for whatever they did do now in this specific case of what's going on in the news I'm not, I don't have an opinion of whether or not he did it or not. I have no idea. I was not there. I am not going to say. I'm not going to try to take a stance on that. I will say that if somebody is guilty, then they need to be held responsible. If somebody is not guilty, then they're not, obviously. They're, like, I don't believe you should ruin somebody's life 
for their political position, but I also believe if somebody is responsible for something like this, they need to be held accountable. It's not, though women are ultimately responsible for taking care of themselves, they need to be, like, we as women need to be careful about the situations we get ourselves in, that whoever decides to take advantage of that woman is ultimately responsible for their actions also, whether or not I put myself into a stupid position. But women, if you're watching this, like, (laughs) keep yourself safe, guys. Keep yourself away from questionable situations. Keep yourself away from people or things that are going to try to take advantage of you. We we need to be smart. We need to take care of ourselves because at the end of the day, we're the only ones that can. And it's sad to say that we don't live in a perfect world where, you know, everybody just (laughs) is completely equal all of the time. Like, there's no way that a 200-pound man, if he tried to um, overpower me in any way, there's no way I'd be able to do anything about it. But at the same time, like, I can do other things to try to protect myself. So I know I'm kind of rambling on. I know it's been really unorganized talk, but it's really on my heart because it made me sad that this person felt responsible for the fact that they were taken advantage of 20 years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, you know, whatever. And it's, it's not that's not the burden you were meant to bear so and you can like you get to be forgiven for things that you've done but at the same time you need to be able to move past the things that other people have done to you and they need to be held responsible for it they they need to be anyways I'm gonna get off my soapbox I'm really sorry I know this is really random but it just it was really heavy on my heart so um if you guys have any um If you guys have any opinions on this, go ahead and post it below. I'm going to get this video up as soon as possible. (laughs) It's been long enough. I recorded this video like a week ago. Uh, By the way, guys, happy Inktober. I will be um, celebrating Inktober. We'll be posting um, different ink drawings and ink experiments this month. If you have anything you want me to see, go ahead and post it in the comments below. I do read everything that's posted. So... I will see you guys next time. Again, subscribe, ring that little bell so you can see the next time I post a video. Have a good one, guys. Bye.